This is officially the first weekend of summer, and the start of the summer boating season ended very badly for at least one man who learned that conservation officers will not put up with drinking while boating. RTV6 reporter Tanya Spencer rode along with officers on Geis tonight, and she is here with more on the crackdown. Tanya. Well, Todd and Jenna, it's called Operation Dry Water, and most would agree it's a summertime crackdown every bit as important as those on Indiana's roadways. Most come for fun and sun. It's really fun with tubing and skiing. But some combinations don't mix on the water, like drinking and operating a boat. We've had close calls. Safety comes first. And granted, I, everyone likes to have a few cocktails, but there's a time and a place, and the driver absolutely should not. Thousands of families carrying precious cargo on board will enjoy Indiana waterways this summer, and the vast majority of water excursions will end well. But when accidents do happen, it's almost always because of alcohol. Of the 75 reported boating accidents in Indiana last year, 63 of them were alcohol related. That's why drunk boaters are one of the main things conservation officers look for. Drinking and driving in the boat is the same as drinking and driving in a car. If you're intoxicated, you're at the 08 limit, uh, you're going to go to jail. Stop the boat! How much have you had to drink? How much is a little bit? I can tell. Tonight, officers found what they believe to be an intoxicated boat driver who had a little trouble with the alphabet test. C, D, E, F, G, H, um, really. DNR officers escorted him back to shore, where he wound up in handcuffs and was taken to jail for a certified test. Parents are glad to see the crackdown. It makes me feel better about uh, the waters. We have three children, small children at that, so I know that uh, uh, that's one, one concern. Now we want to point out that no one else on that boat was doing anything illegal, and that alleged driver is innocent until proven guilty. Still a good lesson for all boaters to learn tonight and to keep in mind all summer long. Todd.